Hello and welcome. So this is uh, Differentials 101, and I'm going to try to be concise uh, yet detailed at the same time, so we'll see how this works out. The front differential is going to be heavily responsible for steering. It is going to affect traction, but mainly steering. The center differential is going to affect mainly the front and rear power balance or power transfer. The rear differential is going to greatly affect traction, as well as steering. It will affect steering, but traction is a big component. And that is the purpose behind them. Now, you have to select uh, the types of oils or if you're going to run uh, spools, for example. Now, rear oil. Say the rear differential, you have thin oil. Now, this is going to affect rear wheel drive vehicles as well as uh, front wheel drive vehicles. Now, rear wheel drive vehicles are a challenge, and I'm going to speak about them a little later. If we focus on, uh, say, the basics, so you have your vehicle, again, you're turning, right? Uh, the front tires are following this pattern. Uh, the rear tires are going to be following a similar pattern. So these lines should actually be over here. This should actually be over here. And just to make it a little easier, because we're actually focusing on the rear, not the front. Let me go ahead and move them. Uh, so this is the, the circle these rear tires are going to be following. Again, there's a difference. There's going to be a difference in speed because in order to complete the, if, if you consider, let's say the turn, you're turning up to here. If you were to measure from here to where the tire is and then here to where the tire is, right? The car would be pointing this direction, right? The, the vector here would always be tangent. Uh, there's a longer distance on the outside. So what's going to happen with the, the rear is uh, the following. You actually want the opposite of the front differential of what I just explained. So as you take the turn, right, this tire here will want to come off the ground. So let's just say you turn fast enough, and again, sway bars affect this, droop affects this, but for the purposes of this, let's just say uh, this one actually comes off the ground. So what's going to happen is the rear tire is going to come off the ground, it's going to unload. So that's one of the challenges with this. If you have thinner oil, this is going to unload. So if you have, actually I'll just speak about a two-wheel drive vehicle. Let's say you have a two-wheel drive slash, bandit, rustler, whatever it is. One of the big problems with those vehicles is they have open differentials. They just have a little bit of grease. The tires spin freely in the rear. So as soon as they take any turn, this tire comes off the ground and you lose speed. It just, the vehicle pretty much just stops and this tire just spins and unloads all the power. Uh, now, the issue is if you go too thick, then you're going to start drifting the rear end. So if you put a spool on the rear of a slash, uh, a long time ago, just for fun, I decided to put uh, silicone and I locked all the gears in place. It was a disaster. Uh, on, carpet, on carpet, it was pretty good. But on clay, dry clay, wet clay, pavement, whatever it was, anything other than carpet, it was a disaster. I was just drifting the rear, losing the rear all the time. It was oversteering like mad. So that's something uh, that you need to think about. So thicker oil will generally give you uh, less traction on a corner because you're going to be drifting. So this is going to want to just slide out. Uh, but uh, one of the advantages is the inner tire will not unload as much. So it will still keep the vehicle moving if there's traction on this tire. But usually you're just going to drift out Again, I said carpet is probably one of the exceptions, but that's because more than likely the tires have pins. And that's the reason why. So thinner oil uh, will generally give you uh, better traction on a corner. It'll also help you steer when you exit. 
but that's going to apply mainly to four wheel drive vehicles. So four wheel drive vehicles, thinner oil in the rear is beneficial for steering and exiting corners. And I'm gonna talk about that later. Two wheel drive vehicle is a challenge. It's a huge challenge because you want something that is thick enough so that this tire doesn't unload completely or think about it this way this tire has enough power transferring to it to still keep pushing forward because if it doesn't the vehicle is just going to stop this is going to unload and then it'll just drop and then keep going but you're going to you're going to be turning very very slow because you uh you, you on a two-wheel drive you'll actually lose traction versus if it's too thick uh if you're going slow uh, you will have traction, it'll keep going, but then if you go fast, you're just going to lose the rear end. So that, that's one of the differences to keep in mind. Now, uh, rear thick oil, well, uh, I already spoke about thick oil, what happens. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, just summarize this. But if you go too thick oil, the reason why the rear end just wants to slide out and pass the front is because of this convergence here. So these are now traveling at very similar speeds, uh, which means that the circles are going to be very similar in diameter, right? The turning radius is going to be very similar, I should say, which means there's going to be a theoretical point of convergence, and that's the reason why. So now you have your rear tires fighting each other. So if you have thin oil, differential is going to work fine. If you have too thick oil or a spool in the back, the two tires are going to fight each other, you're going to go off. Uh, so again, you want... On a four-wheel drive vehicle, thin oil runs great. Uh, for example, Techno SCT 410.3, 15,000 weight oil in the rear is good enough. Uh, depending on your application, maybe you're running 10, maybe you're running 20,000. Uh, it depends on you and your driving style, to be honest. But that would be a good starting point. If you have, for example, a uh, monster truck, maybe an MT 410, the stock rear is plenty. That's good. Uh, it's the center you really have to thicken up. So rear differentials, uh, you generally get uh, more traction on a corner on a four-wheel drive vehicle. You get more steering on the exit on a uh, four-wheel drive vehicle. But on a two-wheel drive vehicle, you are going to unload. Uh, unload on a two-wheel drive. And it's going to be the, that inner tire that you're going to unload. If you have thicker or a spool, you're going to have less traction on corner, so you're going to drift uh, or spin out. It's it's oversteering. You're going to oversteer, and you're going to. Ha but you will have less unloading of the inner wheel. Uh, so again, in the rear, you really do not want to spool unless you're drifting. Um, you really do not want too thick of an oil. So. Uh, if it's a four-wheel drive vehicle, go thin. How thin depends on the vehicle and the weight. Uh, if I mean, if you're doing a touring car, you, you may be going with I don't know, 200, uh, something super light. Uh, but if you're doing a heavier vehicle, you're probably going to be doing 7,000, 10,000, 15,000, somewhere around there. So keep that in mind. Uh, I hope this is useful. Uh, please uh, make sure to comment. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,